Welcome to your workout today, you guys. We are going to start on the floor. Okay, we are coming down and we are doing some abs today. Um, we are staying on the max for the duration of your session. So, we are going to start in tabletop position. Okay, I want everyone to just come down to the floor. Okay, I just want you to practice some pelvic tilt here. So, coming up, back down, lifting up back down here, so we exaggerate one way to the other until you find a nice mutual spine where you're going to feel really comfortable. It's not about having a flat back press into the floor, okay, it's just about finding that place where your core feels really nice and switched on here, okay, one way, then the other, until you come to that nice position here, okay, I want to make sure that your Rib cage is flaring, okay, it's drawn down, okay, that belly button is drawn inward as well. Okay, you guys, we're gonna come now onto that tabletop position. Are we all ready? We are gonna start together in three, two, and one. Okay, so starting, okay, we're going to drop one leg, then the other. Okay, option to lift your shoulder blades, your back off the floor, okay? Or you can have your head resting here, okay? Doesn't matter where you are, you're gonna get slight more, okay, tension if you do lift your shoulders here. Arms by your side, good. Don't overextend the knee, okay? We wanna to come to a nice point where we're in line with our hips, keep that core drawn in, try not to puff, that's Stomach out. Okay, remain here. Breathe. Focus on that breath work. Okay, now we're gonna go from here. We're gonna extend long and pull up here. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one. So extend out. We wanna find that sweet spot where you can feel that tension. We're not dropping the heels to the floor. We're just here. Extend. Inhale the way out, exhale the way in, and then we exhale, draw that core inwards. Nice, good. All the way out. That's it, you guys. Really nice. Drawing that belly button down. Okay, if you feel your back lifting off the floor too much, you can be overextending. Okay, so don't extend all the way, just as much as you feel comfortable. It doesn't matter, okay, it's not going to make any difference to you, it's just about that mobility that you already have. Nice. So here, keeping the tension constantly there, really nice. Okay, we're going to come up now to this nice 90 degree position. Lift up, and we're touching here. Okay, keeping that tension here constantly. There's a little micro touches. Nice. At any point you feel like your neck feels heavy, just press your neck in your hand and just slowly focus on lifting up with your core. Okay? Really strong, everyone. Good. Breathe through it. Good. Keep those legs long. Touching up. Nice, everyone. Keeping that tension constantly, drawing that belly button down, lifting up. Good. Keep going here. Nice. Okay, next we're going on to leg raises. I want you to really squeeze your thighs together here, okay? Squeeze those thighs, lift up. Option to pulse. So at the very end, you lift your bum off the floor, okay? See how I'm not using momentum like this? I am using my core to lift me up. So it is a micro little lift there, but you're gonna feel it. Keep those thighs knitted together. That is so strong, everyone. Breathe. Really good, everyone. When you focus on that breath work, okay, you're gonna find it so much easier for yourself. Nice. That's it, team. Keep going strong here. That's 
that's it. Here we go. A few more lifts. Okay, at the end, we're just going to add in some little pulses. So we're going to go here and back down. Just lifting that bum up and down for about 10 counts. Good. That's it. Keeping that control here. That's it. Three, two, last one. Okay, we're now going to come into some bicycles. Okay, so here. With these bicycles, it's not about absolutely hammering and going for speed, okay? I want you to really lift up and away. Okay? Here, one side to the other. Don't overextend this knee over the hip. Okay, I want you to bring your elbow to knee. So you're bringing your chest up as well as drawing those knees through. That's it, you guys. Really strong here. Keep going. Breathe with it. Good. One side to the other now. Good. So I'm really feel that in our pause. Nice. In three, two, one. I want to come up to your elbows here, okay? Like so. Extend the legs long. Reach out, so we're going to crunch in and up. Good. Extending those legs long. How are you feeling? Have a little check in with yourself. We are almost there, okay? Make sure you're pulling that core in, it's in that tension zone. So, exhale. Nice, everyone. Keep going here. We're almost there. Good. A few more reps here. And we're going with those alternating V-ups. Okay, in four, three, two, and one. Stretch out long. Come up. Stretch out. All the way back down. This time the exhale comes on the left, okay? That's it, everyone. So strong here. We're gonna really be feeling that in our core now, but we dig deep. You've got it. That's it, guys. When we lift up, lift up chin first, chest, okay? Coming all the way up to this position, and the leg lifts too, okay? Try and do it with that control. We're not just here, okay? Using momentum, we are using our core strength. Yes, guys, that's so good. You've got a couple more reps here. For three, two, one. Go out here, stretch out, okay? Nice. We are now gonna come into our flutter kicks. We flutter up, flutter back down. Up, back down. Nice. Almost there now. These flutters are small. Come kind of all the way up and all that way back down again. Good. Breathing through it, everyone. That's really nice. All the way up. Again, find that sweet spot, okay? Where you feel that tension, and that's when you pull back up. Nice, keep going here. For another 10. That's it. Oh, Siri speaking to me. Good, all the way up. Okay, now we're gonna come into our circles. Option to have your back on the floor, okay? Or option here on your elbows, okay, good. So we're going big circles to start with. Okay, try not to use like your hips from side to side. Okay, try and keep that control. I want you to squeeze your thighs together as you are doing this, okay? Squeezing those thighs, you're pointing those toes, reaching away, good. And we are doing nice big circles here. We're now gonna go the other way, opposite direction. Big circles, that's it guys. 
breathing through it. Yes. Okay, we're now going to go in a short second to the little micro circles, okay? So those circles are starting to get a little bit smaller now, making them smaller. That's it. Okay, and you're mid. Okay, you're not too high, not too low. It's at that point of tension. Just there, okay? Opposite direction. Keeping those circles smaller. Nice. Woo! Micro now. We want them tiny, tiny. Squeeze those thighs together still. Bring that core in. Belly button through to spine is what I want you to think right now. Tiny little micro circles. For your last 10 seconds here. For nine. Eight. Squeezing those thighs together. Continue there. For four. Three. Well done, everyone. Squeeze those thighs. Two. Pull that core in. And one. Woo. Big stretch out here. Well done, guys. 10 minute core. I want you to really stretch out. Pull yourself back up here. Okay, come on to your front. We're just going to do a little cobra stretch here. Stretching those abs out. Nice. Well done, everyone. Come back down. Okay, and lift yourself back up here. If you want to do more of a cool down, Okay, head to our recover section. Okay, or if you want to add that onto the end of any workout, if you want to go for a lovely long walk and use that as a little finisher, or just something to really engage your abs, um, then you can always obviously come back to this. But I hope you enjoyed this little 10 minute abs. Um, well done, everyone, and I'll see you for the next workout.